One of the, the, one of the powerful things to do uh, in, with theater, uh, as I mentioned earlier, is that, that journey. Uh, if you will indulge me, please close your eyes, relax. 1877, Fort Concho, San Angelo, Texas. Sergeant Noblesse Lofton, Buffalo Soldier, Tick Cavalry Regiment, Fort for duty as a sign. Welcome to Fort Concho. Before y'all start on a tour of the fort, I've been detailed to give you a briefing about the 10th. We're stationed here in these West Texas Plains to make it safe for settlers to live and to help keep law and order. Mostly what we do around the fort is pretty routine. Drilling like you just seen us do, tending the horses, making repairs, and such like that. In the field, with scouts for water grazing for settlers, escort stages, and stands guard over workers with lay rail and strings telegraph wire. But our number one duty, what us Buffalo soldiers really love to do, is fighting engines. We got a real reputation for being some fierce engine fighters. Got to be. These mansions ain't too civilized, you know. Breaking treaties, stealing horses and food, and, and, and won't stay on the reservations the government give them. But I reckon when you think about it, it must be kind of hard seeing as how they used to have the run of this whole country. But they might as well accept the white man's way. Can't stand up against the United States Army. We're going to wear them down. Of course now, if they knew there was enough land here for everybody, I reckon I wouldn't have a job now, would I? <laughs> well, whites, or the, the Indians call us buffalo soldiers because our hair and we tough like buffalo. But the white troopers, well, they call us whatsoever they surmise to, whensoever they surmise to. And they says all the war out mounts bad food and, and terrible clothes out our way. Okay, you can open your eyes. You just took that journey back to 1877 Texas. That's what you're doing when you're talking with your kids. You're telling them to take that journey. That's what they're doing when the judges are going. A lot of times, I don't even watch what's happening up on stage when I'm judging. I'm listening to the story. I actually close my eyes. I actually listen to the story. If it's believable that way, then once you open your eyes and you see the action in front of you, then you can kind of determine where the characters should be moving. That helps with that blocking. 